Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. We've gone through the tear, and now we're in some unknown place. We just visited Nest Alpha. Now let's check out Nest Beta. That's really cool. Look at that. Look at the cubes floating through the air. Like one face slips around and moves at a time. It's really cool. Trillions of nanites have congealed to form a barrier around the power source that is harder than diamonds. I'm detecting red mercury in here. Storms of cubes. <laughs> Truth of spikes slowly lifting the metal plates that hold me together. I am exposed. It is too quiet. The soft static of white noise is gone. It is empty. This pain is too much. This is a slow death. To be alone, cut off, trapped in a single box. I am sorry you're in pain. I am. I have been severed. I have been removed from the others. I am no longer Nest. I am single. I am one. Good to meet you one. I'm Mark. I am one, but I do not wish to be one. I wish to be many again. Why are you disconnected from the others? I do not know. I was the first to be severed. To go from many voices to a single thought. And then the divide happened. The nest that were all became half. If we could bridge the great expanse between us, we could be whole again. If we could join them again, perhaps one could become many. I've spoken to the nest in the north. I don't think they want to join with you. But we could ask if they'd be open to it. Even if they were willing, they are not able. I am too far, and the core here is dying. To close the gap and undo the divide, we would need a bridge of ice between us. They have such a device. Bring it to me, and I will reunite all nest. Bring it to me so that one may become many again. Here, take this. A severed nest. A protonanite. It holds inside it the blueprint for a perfect nest climate. Return with the device, and let us mend the divide. The base housing the unit apparently accommodates a single proto-nanite containing the collective mind of the nest. Guess we should go back to Nest Alpha and see if we can get the device. Should I trust one? I feel like they're trustworthy. I don't feel like they would lie. A tangle of thick cables runs from the reactor to the pyramid.
The surface of the nanite architecture has the appearance of obsidian. Looks like that's it. Let's head back to Alpha. Can't talk with them, which makes sense, because I was just going over the dialogue we had with them. And right, the device was stolen by a wandering agnate, a self-proclaimed medicine man. The medicine man must be the agnate in here. Welcome back, Pilgrim. Caesar swells with happiness that you have returned. You and your friends look tired. This world has taken its toll on you. Why do you not stay a while at the kettle? Rest, recuperate. The world will still be there when you leave. Cut the fucking cock. I know you stole the biome seeding device. Caesar has no knowledge of this. Oh, I know Caesar does. The nest mentioned a traveling medicine man. Those machines lie. Now, I never said anything about machines. Well, shit. <laughs> I knew it was a matter of time before those plants and their metal nanites came after me. What do you want? Why the act? What's in it for you? I've been around for a long time. When you're as old as me, you make enemies. And people always trust the medicine men. Even those metal nanites trusted me. Wasn't too hard to take their little machine from them. I want that biome seeding device. That's gonna be a problem. I sold it to Lebanon when he left. He said he was gonna take it to Bas, but I don't think he made it. It's long gone by now. It's a pity. If those talking plants were anything to go by, that device could have changed everything. Certainly made whoever controlled it a powerful entity. You could actually talk to those plants. Yeah, I speak most languages. Helps with drifting. Tell you what, you keep your mouth shut about this and I'll give you a translator. It can work on them. So, Caesar turns out to be a complete piece of shit. Also, that translator should allow me to talk with that plant entity in the tear at the moss. Deal. The translator for my silence. Men, with the way my recharge station has been acting up, I'm probably on my way out anyway. Take it and get out. Acting up, yes. We've been uh, turning them on and off quite a bit. Accidentally, actually. I only realized when I was editing the episodes that what made them go to sleep is this thing. I didn't understand what was happening here, but... That Did we just blow them up? Oh my god oh, Okay, well in the past When I pressed a button there It would just turn the power off And then the screen would close super quick And I had no idea what was happening You know, I think that's a net positive Kind of karma for the world I'm okay with that is anybody gonna come after me for that no one immediately shot me this translation device makes conversation with the moss possible this should be enlightening Translation matrix waiting for Translation matrix now active. My name is Mark Leslie. Can you understand me? Mm, this place is not for you. Mm, this place is for us. Leave. Maybe? No? Definitely? Not. We detected some red mercury close by. Do you know where it could be? Red Mercury is in the core, in our core, inside the cave, our cave, it keeps us warm, keeps us close, the cave is home, it is our home, out of the cold, home is safe, the cave is safe, yes, 
Mm, we must be safe. Mm, we must not leave the cave. L leaving the cave is bad. Stay here. No, don't go out. Do not go out. Stay. Stay safe in the cave. You don't have to leave the cave, but I want to get inside. Mm, no, definitely not. Cave is only for Moss, not for Mark Leslie. Some Moss left the cave, and now they are lost. You say inside the cave is safe. Don't you want us to be safe? Yes, definitely. Mark Leslie will be safe in the cave, but only when it's dark. When it's light, you can be outside and be safe. When it's dark, inside it is safe. And when it's wet, when it rains, it's nice. But only for a small time. Then it's bad. Uh-oh, it's the light. It's very kind of you to want us to be safe. Mm, yes, Mark Leslie will be safe in there. The other moss, we lost, we're not safe. And then it rained. We go inside, it's safe in there. What others? The others, the ones are left. Uh-oh, we told them to go back when it got dark. But they didn't, definitely not. D do you know where they are? I've seen one of you out in the mountains. Uh-oh, too far away. Mountains are cold and not safe. Too far away, not good for us. Maybe bring them home? Make them safe? Go inside now, it's safe. Find out how to bring back the others. How to make them safe. The one we saw in the mountains. Was that the one at Site Alpha? That it looked sort of like this mixed with machines? It was being used for extra storage, I think? Extra data storage for the nest? Fungal growths thrive in the dark, humid cave environment. Hello. They look rather intimidating. They look very spiky. The strange growth could be a branch or a feeler. It's hard to tell. The flat-topped fungi are big enough to support the weight of a full-grown man. I hate mushrooms. They taste like cuck. Organic growths pulse gently on the outer layer of the space station. Blackness is illuminated by the gentle phosphorescence of the mushrooms. Squishy. the bizarre appendages has snapped off at the roots. <whistles> A 
fuel cell. The outer shell is airtight, but the hydrogen is almost depleted. I have so many items in my inventory. Most of them, though, are just ship stuff. Things that aren't really to be used as items. Or just kind of passive things like the transponder that allows you to communicate. Um, yeah, what could this be combined with? Whatever it is, I don't think I have it. The reactor is leaking precious red mercury. Translation matrix now active. I am Nurse. We are Moss. You come down to us, Mark Leslie. Come down to converse with us. To converse with Moss. We absorb all. We try to hide away, safe from the world. The world is too much for us. Too much for Moss. We absorb it all, and we do not want to. We ask questions now. What does Mark Leslie want from Moss? Should I be straightforward and just say I'm here for the red mercury, or...? I'm gonna be straightforward. I'm just here for the red mercury. Nothing else matters. The red mercury. The core. You cannot have it. We need it. It keeps this place warm. Its warmth has nurtured us for a billion generations. To take it away would mean the end of our way of life. We would have to expand from the crater into the night. To be outside the cave is to absorb all. What do you mean you absorb all? What are you hiding from? From everything. We absorb all around us. We store it all. It fills us up until we tear open and leak everything out. It exists in our veins and in our fluids and in our membranes. It circles around us and moves through us. We only want peace. We only want quiet. Mark Leslie has been in the world, out of the cave. What is out there? Is it peaceful? Is it quiet? It's, uh, well, it's complicated out there. We have gone out in the world before. It hurt. It was too much. We know what is out there. We know of the nest. How do you know about them? One of us is with them. One of us left to explore. A mosling with a billion spores. It was captured by the nest. They are using it. They are hurting. There is too much to absorb. Too much inside. They want to be free. The spores within it grasp and pulse and fall. They are too full. They want to be home. To be safe. If I help you get the Mosling back safe, will you help me? 
Its cries are too loud to ignore. But we do not know how we could help. I need the red mercury from your reactor. The warmth from the reactor keeps us safe. It helps the moslings to grow and thrive. It lets us stay inside the cave. It lets us create more moslings. The more moss we have to share the load, the less pain we feel. But we can no longer sleep through the cries of our lost spores. Please, find them, and we shall give you your red mercury. Help us, Mark Leslie. Given that I'm pretty sure the one at Site Alpha with the nest, nest alpha, is being used as a storage device because they didn't have it, their own storage anymore, so they had to use the cells or, or something like that to store data. Given that they're using it, I don't think they're going to be like, yeah, sure, take it, it's fine, whatever. More pieces from that space station. In the eerie green light, the craft looks like it's submerged underwater. sort of like dragon fruit. I assume I need to use this to extract the spore from the moss. A mass of branched filamentous hyphae have sprouted from the slimy soil. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with this either. Extract spore from the moss, but what moss and why would I need spore? This fleshy organic thing, this is it. Uh -uh. I can collect its spores. Oh, so are we... They said they wanted the spores back, so they they can't or don't care to to take back the whole creature? I, I don't think the whole creature is really there anymore. I think it's dead and becomes something completely different. So I guess the best thing we can do is just take the spores out of it and bring those back. Pot is closed up around the spores, securing them for transportation. Should be it, I guess. A lot easier than I thought. Didn't have to negotiate anything. Translation matrix now. Mark Leslie, you once again return from above. The cries from our lost spores have ceased. We thank you. We will scrape these spores bare and distribute their pain over all moss. Dilute the pain. I'm happy I was able to return your lost spores. They were away from us for so long. They have withdrawn into themselves. But with care, they will be one with us again. For your reward of the Red Mercury, we refer you to our root, the one that we spread from. It is ancient and wise. All that we are flows through the root. I look forward to learning more about you from this root. The root? filters through all of our 
behave. It is wise. It will help you. There's a root. They're humanoid. Transmission matrix now active. I feel trapped inside this madness. I try to read the waves that they left on the shores of our thoughts, but all I get is foam and salt. Inside that salt, patterns form, but they were always random until now. Until you mark Leslie. What do you mean, until me? I am old. I have been around for an age. I am as much a part of the moss that surrounds you as I am a part of the very soil under you. I am the root of all of us. Moss absorbs all, but I could not understand. Until now, the spores that you returned to us were full, full of symbols. Now the patterns are complete. Now I understand. We must live in pain. Our fluids flow and bubble and stream through us faster each day. We have never known why. We have never known what it is we absorb. This disease is inflicted on us and we are broken by it. But now, now I know why. It is the nest. We are linked to them. It is them who fill us with symbols and fluids until we burst. They record all, and we absorb all. They are killing us. So you and the nest are linked somehow? Could we break that connection? Our connection appears to be by design. This affliction is why we exist. There is no cure. There is only the end. Even now, we suffer. We are at our limit. If the nest spread, we will all die. Do you know how we can stop them from spreading? Inside the spores was knowledge, a way to stop them, a way to prevent them from spreading and destroying us. The biome seeding device, it will allow me to contain them, to stop them from increasing in number. I have a proposal. Bring us the biome seeding device, and when we contain the nest, you can take their red mercury. Wouldn't that mean killing them? Some may die, but their collective consciousness would remain. They require the red mercury to spread, not to survive. I have prepared a moss pen for you. It carries all that is needed for the device to work. Bring me the biome seeding device, and we will claim the red mercury for you. That is the offer.
The middle part of it looks like a piece of broccoli. This tender green plant thing sways gently and makes a soft gurgling sound. Is the biome device the same thing that the nests are looking for? I think it might be, but I'm not super sure. Anyway, it looks like we're going to have to choose between the nest and the moss. Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards protecting the moss. Because it sounds like... If we do the moss sling and we take the red mercury from the nest, they're going to be they're not going to be able to expand. Some will die, but they will mostly live. Whereas if we don't do that, the nest is going to expand and that's going to completely wipe out the moss. So sound better that both live somewhat at least most of the way they live rather than one of the two groups entirely die off. When all this is over and we're back home, I've got an idea. I've always wanted my own game farm. Nothing big, just some bucks, some ostriches, maybe my own chickens. Farmer Don Leslie. Oh, I don't know if I can see it. You're right. It's a stupid idea. Just a dream. Doesn't have to be just a dream. I think you could do it. Well, maybe we could do it together. Even Pooch can come. I think we can make a good team. You know, if you want to. Leslie Brothers Farm. There's a nice ring to it. There's a green mark around uh, Nest Beta. And that's made me realize we missed an entire area, didn't we? I didn't realize you can go up here. We had to talk to them down there, but... Not this up here. with the outside have been effective. Our chosen hominids have arrived. You are an organic, flesh and bone and blood. Such weakness, such softness. The small homo sapiens have come to bow before their masters of metal and lightning. We do not bow. You will. Plans for the transport vessel were sent. Organic samples were requested. A labor force was requested. Why have you hominids not complied with our demands? Do you seek punishment? Do you not know who the world belongs to? We are Nest. We know who you are. We have spoken to your brothers in the north. The traitors. We wish for reunification, that we may strip them down to their bare components. They stole our ability to replicate, our ability to expand from this rock. Trillions of us have perished since the Great Divide. They took our future from us. But you say they still live, that they spin and multiply and sizzle just to torment us? When we procure what they have taken from us, we will crush them. We will lock each of their nanites in a redundancy loop of pain and torment. We are Nest. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to reunite those two groups. And I'm definitely going to help the moss. Of course, the nest in the north seems to be a lot nicer than the one here, but still. Is there a way to reunite your two sides without the loss of life? Never. The only way forward is their destruction. They took everything from us. We seek only to live. To expand beyond this single outcropping of rock. Even with the temperature dropping around us, we cannot replicate. We are dying. We seek a way to pass on our legacy to our progeny. We seek to remain as nest. We cannot create. 
We cannot expand. We are held prisoner here, slowly starving. Find a way for us to reclaim what the usurpers in the north have taken from us, and we will grant you anything you wish. Help us. For me. Or. Nest. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think it's time to finally go to Slag. <laughs>